Oh, hello! Hey, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm just out of the studio cleaning up a little bit, which is something I should probably do more than I do. Um, so I'm going to talk about some tips to keep your studio clean, and I'm also going to show you my do-it-yourself air purifying system. Real super easy and a cheap way to kind of clean the air out of your pottery studio. So, but I just want to go through a couple things, and some of these are obviously they're obviously obvious. So use clean water, use a clean sponge, wipe down the surfaces of your studio, your tables, your chairs, whatever you've got, to try to keep the, the layer of that dust that's being generated in your studio down a little bit. Because that is that dust and that dirt is just floating all around your studio and you're breathing it in. So use a clean sponge, use clean water, wipe up on a regular basis. It's probably best to wait till the evening to wipe everything down and then get out of the studio because you have just moved dirt around and stirred stirred the dust up. Also if you're if you're mixing dry glazes or dry clays, it's best to take them out of your studio, do them outside, and make sure you're wearing a good quality HEPA filter so that you're not breathing that in. Um, potters actually have a disease that is named after them. It's, it's technically silicosis, which is when you breathe in too much silica, adheres to the lungs, and causes difficulty breathing. It's also called potter's lung. So we want to avoid that. We want to avoid the issues. If you're like me, who has um, allergies, my best bet is to try to keep it clean a little bit and try to keep the air a little, the air that I'm breathing a little bit fresher. So wipe down your surfaces. When you finish throwing a piece, if you're taking that bat and setting it down, wipe that bat off, clean it off. If you're someone who uses a towel or if you're someone who uses an apron, take those aprons off, Take those towels, get them in the washing machine, and clean them out because they get nasty. And these are these are a couple that are headed headed to the washing machine right now. The towels that I keep in my studio, I keep in a plastic bag because all this dust and dirt that's floating around here will adhere to those to those towels. And then I pull it out and I pop it on my lap, and then I just throw that dirt and that dust all all over the place. And that's that's particular with the, the uh, aprons people wear. I've seen people that have never washed their apron, they just keep throwing it on. And as they're throwing and moving, they're moving and flaking off all this dust and dirt, and then it's right there at their nose and they're breathing all that in. So wash that apron, wash those, those towels, get them cleaned up. Try to, try to do a little bit to clean up your studio. So today, I'm working on my air purify system. And this is obviously just a 20 by 20 fan that I have taken and added a 20 by 20 filter to the back. So what happens is the air will blow out. It'll be drawn into the, the filter, pick up all those little particles, and then be drawn out. And with a fan this size, and the size room I've got, which is about 200 square feet, I can circulate the air in this room anywhere from 25 to 85 times in an hour, depending upon how fast I've got the speed and where it is. But that air that I'm breathing will have all been circulated through a filter. So real simple, I take it off. And I use uh, painter's tape, the blue painter's tape, to pull this off, to put this on, because it comes off pretty easily. It's not as sticky as, say, duct tape or some other things. All right, so I have my old filter off, got my new filter right here, and I think you can tell the difference. And this, this filter was actually not even in my studio. I haven't been working in my studio for a while. This was actually in my house. If, if I were to have this out in my studio, 
this gets dark very quickly. So you want to use a good quality filter. Um, this is a FPR9, which will help to filter a lot of the allergens and smaller, smaller particles, which is the smaller particles are what's floating around. I want to make sure the airflow arrow is going this way because this is getting sucked into the filter first and then blown out the front of the fan. And that blue painter's tape just works great because it's, it's not as sticky and it's a lot easier to, to remove when I need to remove it. So just cover up every side. And this will make a good enough seal that the air will be filtered through the filter and not blown back up into my studio. So there it is my new filtration system. And now all the air is sucked through the filter and then blown out clean through the other side. So I just want to thank all the new subscribers. Um, I hope you're getting something from my channel. I'm trying to, to give some tips and ideas that have helped me along my way. And if you've got a comment, please share that with us. Uh, I'm hoping this channel will become kind of a, a space where potters can share ideas and I don't know it all So I know there's a lot of people that that have some great ideas that can share with other people that you know Will help them in their potters journey. So hit that subscribe button hit that like button and If you've got a comment or suggestion, please throw it out. I, I do my best to answer everyone that comes through um, For right now, we'll see how that goes, but uh, Thanks everyone. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I hope you get out in your studio and make some beautiful pots. So thanks again. This is David with Mudslinger Pottery in Charlotte, North Carolina.